What's up, everyone? Um, Hydra rotation changed. Uh, did a run last night on hard uh, with this team. Pulled in 13 mil, so pretty, pretty decent. 13.6 uh, for that warrior chest. So if we can get up to 17 mil, kind of duplicate a team like that, I think we'd be good. Uh, all I'm really looking for is 600k, which is very easy to do with pretty much one nuke. Um, but if we can get over 20 mil, that would be perfect. And then here we have 6.6 .6 mil. So we're actually going to put a key into normal today um, just to see how we do. Now, this rotation is a little different um, because we've gotten four new heads. Uh, so head of decay, um, and as I mentioned in my last video, I expect kind of expected this. Head of decay wasn't there uh, last week. It's now here. Um, this is the um, remove the cleansing head. Um, so puts out the life barrier, puts out that shield, and uh, cleanses everybody. So um, it's kind of a double cleanse, something you need to be watch out for. Head of Blight is back. It's the one with the Poison Cloud, so you really want to do the block um, buffs because Poison Cloud really nerfs damage. Head of Suffering is the one um, with Ally Protection and Pain Link, so this one is new. And uh, Head of Wrath is returning. It's the one that basically destroys you after 15 hits. So. Those are the four heads. Um, head of Torment, which is the one that Fears is not in as a first head this week. Um, so an Inquisitor team may not, or most likely will not be the best option. So we do have to kind of change our strategy. Now, when looking at a team like this, here are some tricks. So the Head of Decay will either use one of the two cleanses first, um, but which one it uses will depend on what debuffs are on the boss. So if you're able to A, go first, and B, get debuffs on every chance on every head, it will use that remove all debuffs from all the heads first. Okay. So um, going in there with a uh, you know a chalet to get the AoE leech on everybody just as a first shot, save your skills after that. Um, so that's kind of the idea is you want to strategically use those debuffs. Now, if you have a single target debuff, um, the Head of Decay will use that Rotten Ward first and just cleanse that one person because more, le more than likely they're going to also have low HP. So you need to kind of strategize which one. Even if you're going to go with single target, I would single target one of them, but nuke someone else. So debuff one head, hit a different head, that way um, it's the, the head with the lowest HP, and then that Rotten Ward will go on them. So you'll kind of get an extra turn for that nuke. So at the end of the day, you gotta be strategic on when to use it. My recommendation is AOE nuke, uh, or AOE debuff, let them use that speed of decay first, and that way you can start loading in the decreased defense, decreased weaken, leech, burns, you name it. Um, and you got basically five turns to do that. Also strategize which head you're gonna, you're gonna focus your damage on because that's the head that you're gonna wanna remove the debuffs on, put that shield on, so that's when you'll switch targets and go to a different head. This is all gonna get done in like four, four turns. So you do have to strategize. You may have to hold off on a debuff or two um, if these skills are coming up. So you do need to kinda strategize a little bit. Head of Blight is the one with the poison, dishes out all the poisons. Um, puts out the poison cloud, which means you're doing less damage to everybody else. Difficult to deal with, um, and that's where a block buffs would come in handy. Um, the head of suffering is the one that puts out ally protect on all the heads, uh, and then a pain link. Now, the pain link can be pushed back. So if you get pain link on um, with Helior, uh, Helior takes all the buffs and kind of pushes it back. Um, same with like a Lysandra. So any champion that you will take a debuff from and push it back, Pain Link actually goes back. So therefore, when you're hitting a head, Pain Link gets triggered. So it's kind of like a, a Geomancer's Burn effect in that, you know, when you take damage, you're reflecting that damage back. And that's what Pain Link does. So a, a good some a, a good champion to have is, is any champion that pushes debuffs, gathers them, and then pushes them. 
um, back. And of course the Head of Wrath, you don't want to hit as much. Or you're going to want to hit that 15th time when you got the shields up and your decrease, your increased defense and, and you know, Geomancer's burns and everything like that. So if you can get all of that on the boss, then go ahead and destroy the Head of Wrath um, and go from there. So those are the four heads that we need to worry about. To start, we don't need to worry about the, the veils and, and dealing with the fears and all of that stuff. You got the other debuffs to deal with. So a cleanser would come in handy. I thought we had one meet one more week last week. Um, so I booked my Jintaro and now I can't use him for a month. I, I might still use him um, because he is booked. So as a single target damage dealer. Um, but what we're going to do is look at, uh, again, we got two heads here that take more damage on burns. So by default, I think I'm going to want a direct star in there. Um, as he gets hit, he's a de uh, defense based champion. High HP, high resist, high defense, but also puts out those burns. So we do want a Drex in there. Um, we got two options here. We got a sustainable option and a pure damage option. So we're going to go with a Gurp Tuck to increase our damage, as well as a Leorius um, to put out that AoE nuking damage. Um, we're going to need something, probably put out a Madame Ceres for the uh, decreased defense. We have Leorius with the decreased weaken, um, the block buffs. Uh, also, Ceres will strip. Um, Drexstar with the burns and the survivability. So those will be the main four, I think, champions that we have. Um, I'm going to save my Geomancer for the hard round next because they do hit a lot harder and it's a lot harder to stay alive. Um, who else? I think we'll actually put a Jintaro in there. I also think I'll save my Seafy for next round. Uh, we can put a Blind Seer in there. So let's see what happens. I might decide to take out Jintaro uh, on a team like this just to get some more AoE damage, or sorry, AoE debuffs in there. Um, yes. Yeah, like, uh... Okay, so let's try a team like this. And um, again, with Hydra, it's a lot of trial and error. It's a lot of, okay, that didn't work. The good thing is we get the free regroup um, and, and we can go from there, so.
All right, so after some uh, tweaking of the teams and uh, playing around with different compositions, this seems to be the one of the better uh, keys. It's only 7.8, it's, it's nowhere near, but you know what, it's a one key for the max chest, so it works. Um, there was a little bit of survivability there. Uh, Lady Kimmy actually helped support the rest of the team quite well um, with the speed buff, the increased accuracy, the decreased accuracy, and of course the decreased speed. Um, and she actually put out quite a bit of damage. Um, Shalad was in there, of course, with the AoE A1s uh, and the steals. Uh, Leorius was in there for the AoE nukes, Skirptuck blocks, and increased damage. And then Ceres was in there for the decreased defense, the decreased attack, and the, and the stealing of the buffs as well. Blindseer put out some nice juicy shields, uh, the decreased debuff, or, um, or the block debuff buff and then uh, multiple AoE revives as well. So, I mean, the team actually worked decently well. Um, it's difficult when you're putting out all the debuffs to try to do as much damage and then they get cleansed. So there was some times um, where I had to kind of skip a turn um, and then uh, put the debuff up afterwards. So there is some strategy involved. You really need to watch what you're doing. But I did was able to save my Geomancer for uh, my last key and hopefully put out the damage dealer. He should be putting out easily six to eight mil, um, and we can go from there. So there you have it. Um, there's that key on normal. Just an idea of how to kill this um, round. We'll catch you on the next video. Take care, everyone.